again, gamers. Welcome back to the Board Game Captain. I'm the Board Game Captain. And I'm Alex. And today we're going to be doing another episode of We Try Game Night Snacks of the World. Uh, this is one of the ones we had kept out of the giant Korean snack video. Uh, we have no idea what to expect because um, we can't read Korean, but it looks like a fish-shaped cookie. Is it a fish-flavored cookie? Uh, me maybe renaming this. We try game snacks, so you don't have to. <laughs> Depending on what. Yeah, we we have like. no idea. <laughs> this is this one is so th this could be something totally normal. It could just be fish shaped and then be chocolate. We don't right. know. Mm -hmm. Um, but it could also be fish flavored. So we thought it might be cool to save this off and do it on its own. So, yeah. uh, so yeah, it's it says moist and chewy cake is the uh, the only thing it says in English, <laughs> and then other than that, it's got. Korean writing on a little yep. fish symbol. So we're going to pop this open and, and see what we got here. And moist and chewy cake. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, it looks is, like cake. Kinda. It is cakey. It is a cakey. Is it? it smells like a hostess pastry of some kind. Is it the shape of a fish at least? It is. Oh. oh. It is a fish. It has like gills. <laughs> it is swimmy. It is. Yep. Woo! Yep. It is a fish. It's not a cookie. It is definitely a cake. Feel it. It's like spongy. Okay, should we, should we cut this thing? Do you want, you let's want do it, it lengthwise. Oh, all right. I was going to ask you if you wanted the head or the tail. No, no, let's do it lengthwise. We're going right down. Yeah, so we can make so sure in the middle of it. Well, if there's filling, we should both get the filling. Oh, yeah, there's filling. There is a filling. Um, I don't know. This there's, could be very mundane. Yeah, I don't know. But you know what? It's got the, oh, it's the got like a, jelly goo thing that is like... Yeah, it's got some kind of it's, fruit gooey above the chocolate. Right. If it is chocolate. Yeah. We still don't it actually could, know. It could be like sardine paste. <laughs> All right. It smells sweet. Great. Yeah, right. so, up. <laughs> so, there we go. Mm. Oh no. Mm. Mm. Good. Oh, that gummy thing is weird. That's chewy. They have to make it just. They can't help it. <laughs> As the chocolate disappears, oh, that yeah. gummy thing is really chewy. What is that? I don't know. So it's. That's really odd. It's like almost like a denser Twinkie cake mm -hmm. with a, a very cocoa-y chocolate filling. Yeah. It's not super sweet, very cocoa-y. And all that was fine. But then there's a layer <laughs> over the top. Um, it didn't uh, taste bad, but that layer was really chewy and the, weird. Yeah, you, you, want a, you want a soft snack cake and it gives you like a gummy bear in the middle of it. Yeah, it was really chewy, right? Uh-huh. Um, okay, so the chocolate tasted good. Chocolate tasted good. The cake tasted good. I'm with you. Cake it, tasted it good. It didn't taste like fish. I couldn't. I couldn't actually discern. Maybe because it was surrounded by the cake and the chocolate, I couldn't mm. discern a different flavor for the gummy thing. It was just a really chewy center to what should have been a soft, yeah. sweet cake. So that the texture threw me off there a little bit. It was a little weird. There is a uh, there is a, a theme I've noticed in some of the Korean foods we've tried is that you got to put something really sticky and gummy. In the middle of a lot of what they do. Okay, so, but, but all right. So we're going to go through okay. our three ratings. Uh, yes. First rating is, <laughs> of course, uh, flavor. Flavor. So I thought the flavor was quite good. I'm going to go 7 out of 10. It yeah, was, was tasty. Yeah, I was going to go 6 out of 10. Uh, it's it's a slightly less good Hostess product, like you said. Yeah, it's like uh, a Hostess cake. Yeah, yeah. So 6 out of 10. I'd give, a, I'd give a Twinkie like a 7 out of 10, I think. Okay, I would also give a Twinkie probably a 7. But, yeah. uh, but I, you know, those Hostess cupcakes... That's probably like a nine. Yeah, I'll go home. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, next, snackability. Um, it's a dessert. It's not meant to be. Yeah, it's a little weird. It's not meant to be like, you know. As a game night snack, snackability, I think I'm going to go a bit lower. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do like a five. That's exactly, you read my mind. It's yeah. exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. I was thinking five. Because you could have two, but you couldn't have yeah, you, you wouldn't, six. You wouldn't snack all game night on this. No. It, it doesn't feel that way. No. Uh, but now, um, messiness. It actually wasn't bad. It, no. a, a little of it stuck to the inside of the wrapper, no. but... It was a little tiny bit greasy, but it wasn't it was, terrible. No, it, It's not the cleanest snack, no. but it's it's actually cleaner than I thought it was going to be. It didn't crumble. Right. Cleaner cleaner than a Twinkie. Yeah, a little, gr yeah. little bit greasy, but not too bad. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go a 7 on the cleanliness. Yeah, I'm going to go an 8. I think you can actually... You can get away with this... Several times before you had yeah before you had a problem before you had a problem so yeah. so overall I would it's actually not bad I it's mean not, uh, yeah I, well okay so 
from from our general ratings, I would say both of us were two out of three positive, and only one of our ratings was mediocre on each of our scales. Yeah. So I I'm gonna say that as a game night snack. Maybe not for a bunch of these, because you're not going to want to just keep eating these. No. But I would say, yes, I would recommend this as a game night snack. It's actually not bad. Bring a few. Yeah, and uh, if you like uh, Hostess desserts, but want something a little different, there you go. Yeah, so, so there you go. All right, so if you guys enjoyed this episode of Game Night Snacks of the World, be sure to give it a like. Share it on all forms of social media. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to The Board Game Captain. That's Captain spelled with a K on YouTube. Until next time, game on.